rain's up today. Um, it's quite a, the, the forecast for today is uh, sunny at the morning and then tonight it's to snow. I don't believe that for a second, but it says it's to snow overnight. Um, luckily enough, off tomorrow, so hopefully we can get this video up. And tomorrow morning, if the weather is as bad as what they say it's going to be, then uh, we'll have the chance to get out and do some some uh, some bad weather photography as well. Today the weather's lovely, absolutely glorious, 10 degrees, which is not exactly the warmest. It's been hotter than that over the last couple of weeks, but hey ho, it's what we've got. Heading to the waterfall now, hopefully we'll be there soon. And uh, yeah, I'll update when we get there. We're on the DJI action camera at the minute, stuck on the car window. Um, absolutely fantastic addition to the lineup. So here's hoping today's a good day. Let's go and get some photographs, see what we can see. So we made it to the location, sort of. Um, there's two ways you can get to this place and uh, the one that I've taken the now is in the conventional way. We've come along to the Scottish Borders most secretive waterfall called Stitchel Lynn, just outside weirdly enough the town of Stitchel, which is about 500 metres that way. Now there's a way down at the bottom of the road where you can get into the other side of the waterfall, but I can't park down that side. So what I'm doing is I'm trying something a little bit different and I'm going to come to the other side of the waterfall and that way I'm going to try and see if there's a way down the hill just at the bottom here. I might even get the drone to see if there's a way down the hill. Now the last time I came down here was probably about six years ago when I had a blue BMW and now I've got the grey BMW. But I know the waterfall is just here. I just need to try and get down to the other side of it. There's some sheep and baby lambs, look. Just there. Ha <laughs> ha! So we're not going to disturb the sheep, we don't want to do that. We're going to jump into the other field, get away from, get away from the animals. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can find a way to this waterfall, which I can hear already. Let's go and see if we can see a way down. So we've made it to Stitchell Lynn Waterfall and uh, like I thought the last time it was the wrong side um, now there's definitely a composition to be had around here somewhere but it's really really busy at the bottom of the waterfall just now so if I was to try and take a photo down there's loads and loads of people down there that's going to get in the shop none of them wearing blendable clothing so when you try to figure out what kind of shop we're going to be taking this is a gorgeous little uh, coved area that I'm standing in just now though. Absolutely fantastic, it really is. There's a, what appears to be some kind of old settlement just behind me here. You can see there's a little window and stuff in it as well. So I don't know what that was or is, um, but I'm going to try and sneak along the side of the river here, just to the top of the waterfall. I might put the bag down just so that I can get a bit easier manoeuvrability. It's never good when you've got a heavy bag with the uh, with a drone, a camera, a couple of lenses and a tripod on your back and you're trying to figure out how to not fall off a 40 foot waterfall. So I'm almost at the waterfall, the waterfall is literally just right there. That's the waterfall. I need to try and find a way down the other side of it. Chances are slim. Hopefully some of the people down there with the bright baggage and the bright clothing's moved on. I'm going to go for a wee walk and see if there's a way to be seen at the top of it. So let's go and check it out then now. So with the waterfall proving a little bit difficult to get um, to get to, what I've actually done is I've set up on my first composition here, which is almost what I would describe to be uh, an ex exact idea of what summertime is. Um, so what we've got is we've got some sprouting daffodils just behind us here and we've got this little meadow just on the other side here which has got a little kind of river rapid running through it and that's basically my scene. This little kind of trail runs through as a, as a leading line through the shot with a mossy branch just to set the, the, the angle back forward there but the scene leads you to the waterfall and the way out leads you to the daffodils so on a total it's a very well balanced scene so I'll give you a little look at the image 
and uh, again I don't think I'm going to find my way to the bottom of the waterfall it just looks a bit too sketchy um, but here's this image and I'll give you a little look around the area here as well beautiful beautiful little place it really is so this is uh, the top of Stitchel Lynn waterfall if you go to Google Maps and find Stitchel there's a bend and a set of trees and that's where I am just now just at the top of this huge waterfall it's a stunning place but it's just really difficult to get to so if anybody knows anyhow to get to the bottom end of Stitchel um, Lynn waterfall let me know comments below let me know what your thoughts are on the photos let me know what your thoughts are on the video and um, but let's have another little look around this area see what your thoughts are on this image now a deer that seems to be stuck on the hill now I don't think he's seen me yet but he can't seem to get up the hill there and I don't think he's noticed that I'm here but he's been in the water and I don't think he notices that I'm here he's just behind me over there you can hear him running away now I think he saw me now he had me see me until until I started talking to the camera there but I was watching him for ages he hadn't seen us on the camera and he's tried to run up this hill now that's basically a steep cliff and from my uh, unknown animal animal information deer and goats are very different animals and um, goats can uh, traverse hills and mountains superbly deers by the looks of it not so much <laughs> um, he looks all right he looks okay he's not he's not hurt himself or anything oh there's a heron look at the size of that mother look at that Wow, did you see that? A grey heron. What a big animal that was. Absolutely incredible. They're terrified of humans. Um, I'm not going to hurt anything. I'm not even, this is the first time ever visiting down here. And uh, absolutely amazing for wildlife. I need to bring the big, cam big camera down here sometime and capture some of the wildlife. Just uh, sit quietly and wait because it looks as if there's loads and loads of things going on down here. I'm just having it, like I said in the, at the beginning. It is just a, a recce mission to see what's actually down here. Some of the sounds and stuff you can hear is incredible. It really is. I really, I really like it down here. It's really nice. Lovely little tranquil area. All to myself as well. There's nobody else around. Apart from me and the, the deer that's now disappeared into the into the sunlight. But if you look at the size of the cliff it's trying to climb. I mean that's basically a vertical rock up there. So I don't know what it was trying up that way. There's some nice little uh, river runs and stuff around here. It's just a lovely little area, it really is. That heron's still flying around, you can see him just over my back there. You can sit and watch wildlife all day, couldn't you? Absolutely fantastic. Because of the amount of animals around, I'm going to be quite, uh, I'm going to be respectful. And I'm not flying the drone, the drone stays in the bag. There's a lot of lambs in the area. And uh, with the birds and the deer and things, I don't want to go scaring them and making it stressful. Um, I've got to go back by the sheep for a start, which will be interesting. I've got a fear of I've got a fear of livestock, so that'll be interesting to see what happens when I have to walk by some sheep with their baby lambs as well. It's uh, no feeling me much much confidence, but lovely place, lovely area. Hopefully, hopefully, the image that I've taken today works out nicely. I will try and get another one, there's a lovely bit of river here to be honest, it's a really really nice little bit of river. It's been a nice couple of days so it has died off a little bit. But this is Stitchel Lynn. This is uh, another unknown area of the Scottish Borders, round about here. And surely there's another image to take. So let's carry on a walk 
and we'll see first bumblebee of the year as well <laughs> let's carry on with walk and we'll see if there's another image to capture round about here change of plan. It's 24 hours later since the last time you've seen me in regards to the video that I was making. Um, yesterday just didn't work out at all so I decided to call that a day on the uh, on the location I was at. Now you of, of who follow me on Instagram will be familiar with this shot here. So that's Smalem Tower and the Eildon Hills in the backdrop. Now if you follow me on my Facebook page You'll have seen last week that I came up to this exact shop to capture what I hoped was going to be something spectacular. But it turned out it wasn't. Um, it was, don't get me wrong, it was amazing. But I want it to be better. Now behind me, unfortunately, all of this here is what I was hoping was going to be what was in front of me just now with the tower. Now don't get me wrong, I think within the next half hour, all of this over here, I don't know if you can see it because of the highlights, all of that is coming and there's a good chance that I'll get a shot. Now, I don't believe it's April and we've got that much snowfall, <laughs> I really don't believe it, but we are in Scotland after all, so you never know what to expect in this place. So yeah, 24 hours later from our last shot. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll recognise this shot here. This is the one that I took in the last time. Um, now, as you can see, it is a lovely shot, and I did like the shot, um, but I think there's better to be had, and I think tonight, hopefully, with the colour that could possibly be in the sky tonight, I hope it doesn't miss me this time. So, yeah, this is the uh, this is the, the reshoot of Smalem Tower. Hopefully. I might change my angle, actually, because I might go back down to this little plinth down here. Um, I might do a little bit of searching around, but the looks as if there could be a little bit of colour. I love the texture in the, uh, on the land over there. So I might set up just now, get one shot, just so that I've got some of this light. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous light that's coming in from, from the sunset that is tonight. Sunset's about 40 minutes away. And uh, as you can see by the light on my face, it's just a gorgeous night. Bloody cold, but gorgeous. So let's have a look around the area. Now to do a little bit of uh, photography tutorial on this one just now, I'm doing something totally against all of the photography rules. Now on the back of the Sony, I don't know if you can see the back of the camera here, um, I've got the, I'm, I'm framing the tower right on the third line on the far left hand side of the image here. So what you've got is, you're, with the Sony's you can get rules of thirds, but you also get the crisscross in the image there as well. Now what I'm actually doing, is something that goes completely against the rules of photography which is normally you would expose for the highlights but because of that absolutely gorgeous light that's coming from the sun I mean I'm not kidding it is unreal I'm actually just blowing it out to the max with the silhouette of the castle with that amazing golden light coming in you've also got the light hitting the rocks and contours at the bottom of the hill there that's absolutely incredible it really is now at the top of the frame I've got this cloud bank that's just above me here. Now this cloud bank here, I'm hoping as the sun gets lower, this just goes boom. This, this is my make or breaker right here. This big black cloud that I'm hoping is going to dump a little bit of snow. There's also a cloud formation just in the back there as well. This could be ace. Now this genuinely, genuinely could be absolutely incredible. So this is the shot. When we discussed this the last time, um, when I was um, getting the shot, hopefully last week, this is what I was hoping for. Now the good thing that I've noticed with the Sony A7R2 that I've got here with the Tamron 2875 f2.8 is the dynamic range is just insane, it really is. Now there's a slight cloud bank breaking into the bottom of my scene here, but again, like I said, what I'm doing is I'm at f11 to get the depth of field all the way through. My shutter speed's 1 15th 
and my ISO is 50, so I've got this to the lowest point of ISO so that you can get the best quality image on this. Now the cloud just above me here is starting to drift in just a little bit. So that's my composition. I've just zoomed out a little bit on just so that you can capture that. And uh, I'm exposing um, on zero on the exposure meter here. And I've just got this most incredible light that's hitting the castle. Um, the castle, the tower, whatever you want to call it. Um, so two second timer just to narrow out because it is very windy. I also don't want to capture any of the camera shake or anything like that that can come in to the to the scene. So that's what I've got set up on. I'll just give you an overall look at it. So I'll flip you around and I'll give you a look at it from here. So you've got the A7R2 with a shot there on the three-legged thing tripod and the castle. This is my composition basically right here. So the castle's on my third line and you can see just how much this is just absolutely glorious. Gold, gold light coming in from the from the side there so that's exactly what i'm doing so what you do is you pre-focus the camera i'm doing it on manual focus you just set it up two second timer boom just like that now i'm going to keep firing you can see just there that cloud is just starting to drift in this boy up here is just starting to drift in so that's kind of where i'm at now to get here is very very simple if you ever want to come here um head along the B6795, I think it's called 6797, all the way to a little town called Smalem. And in the town of Smalem, there's a turn off, and you drive through this farm just at the bottom of the hill here. And uh, it takes you up a rutted path with a digger on it. I'm literally parked just at the bottom of this hill. Um, but what a stunning place to come. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this big cloud bank just above me here, this is exactly, exactly what I was hoping for the last time. It's, Yes! This is what I'm looking for. This is the shot. This is the shot that I've been waiting for. Last time I come up, like I said, the shot I showed you before, that was just, that was okay. That was a warm up to find this composition. This is what I'm hoping for and this is what I've found. I am over the moon. So I'm going to keep shooting. Hopefully that cloud gets a little bit better. I'm going to go and give an Instagram live. Um, I'll link to my Instagram. I'll put, I'll put it up here just now. And uh, yeah, go and hit the follow button on there to keep an eye on what's going on. Hopefully this sound works okay. It's the first time I've used the, the lav mic that comes with the DJI, but I am over the moon with the way the composition's going. That big black cloud's just falling into my scene and it's starting to drop. You can just see there, it's starting to drop some of the, the, the snow that's in. And this is exactly, exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm going to keep shooting and I'm going to go live on Instagram. Be sure to give us a follow. Links are in the description below. So hopefully you enjoyed this little video so far. Let's go and see if it gets any better than this. So I'm still taking the same shot. I'm still in the same location, just framing up. I'm just waiting for that sun to drop down. There's a wee cloud bank just moved in just in front of it there. Now, I was doing a, a, a Facebook Live just there and it went dead. So I do apologise for all those people that were following along. Um, the phone just died. Um, too much, too much TikTok. <laughs> um, so I'm going to zoom out a little bit more just to try and capture a little bit more of that sky. Now, I'm now shooting at 28 mil, so what, when you zoom in and out, you have to obviously change your focal, um, your focus point, which obviously on the tower, I, I need to use the, eye, the eyeglass bit, just to focus in on the tower, make sure I get that focus just right. Now, it says here that I need to focus on 20, 20 meters, is it 20? Just before infinity, I need to focus on just before infinity, and I need to capture some of that sky. And again, just with the way the glow of the sun is, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but that, look above me here, look at that. I wouldn't really, really wouldn't want to be anywhere else in the world right now. Absolutely spectacular. Absolutely spectacular. To stand up on top of this hill and watch the snow in the distance there. And then to have that amazing, incredible view. We really are so lucky to live in the place that we do. The Borders is a gorgeous area. Now I complain about it a little bit because it's quite difficult to get a photograph because there's every 35 feet there's a new farm and there's difficult places to pull over. Um, but when you get this opportunity and you get this kind of shot, this is what it is. So what I'll do is I'm going to round this video off because like I say, it's taken me two days to make it and the sun now is drifting away for the night. So hopefully you enjoyed this little two-day video. Hopefully you enjoyed the images. I'll put up a, a little, a little selection of the best ones. 
Um, but as the sun fades away for the day, it's been a difficult day today. I really hope you enjoyed this little video. And before I start getting emotional, because it's just absolutely spectacular. I want to say thank you very much to every single one of you people. There's maybe not many, but I appreciate every one of the people that come along and watch my video. You're the one that makes me want to do it. And that's why I come out in the cold weather to capture some of these images. So I'll wait another five, ten minutes just to the sun drops and uh, I'll see you on the next adventure. Hopefully next weekend we'll get the chance to travel a little bit further than just the Scottish borders with all this uh, rubbish closing down a little bit. But thank you. All my Facebooks, all my Instagrams are below. Hopefully you enjoy these images. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And until the next time, I'll see you then. Thank you.